opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. e6 opens up a line for the dark-squared bishop and prepares to castle quickly, while preparing to push a pawn to d5 and recapture with a pawn if captured. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. b6 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to b7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. Bd3 develops the bishop to an active square where it controls the center and attacks the h7 pawn. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This prevents the opponent from castling, which generates tactical opportunities by keeping the king in the center. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a bishop. It is the last book move. Only one move worked there and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to pin a knight. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing bishop. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. This is an equal trade. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Very precise. It is best. White was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. White took advantage of the opportunities they saw in the opening. White overpowered black in the middle game. 